Hi everyone, my name is John the Pan, Technical Evangelist for Viv Labs. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at John Without the H. Today's video, I'm going to be building a fax template and taking it to the marketplace. Do keep in mind that the jokes template is nearly identical, so this video will be applicable to that as well. I'm going to start here in Bixby Studio, and the first thing we're going to do is create a new capsule from a template. You can do it from here or from here. Click on this, create capsule from template. We're going to select the fax template for this example and just select your language. In this case, you're likely to be making a capsule in English. In this example, I'm going to be building a cow fax template. And you can just copy and paste your fact right here. Then you can add an image right here. And we can also add a tag as well. So tags will be used for if the user queries something like tell me a fact about cows or tell me a fact about milk. In this case, we can add the tag uh, cow. And I'd also add the tag cows as well in case the user gives the plural variation. And we can add a tag like hamburgers. So once you've added your first fact, you can add another one. Now you could do this for all the facts you'd like to add to your fact capsule. However, I personally just like to add one or two to get the data structure and then manually manipulate the JSON from there. So for this, let's start off by naming it playground dot whatever you want. So cow facts or something like that. Click generate capsule. And now you have this template capsule that you can now start working with. First thing is first, if we have tags, we need to add some training. Over here in resources, there is a training file in the EN folder. And here we can see the first training, tell me a fact about cow. And give that a quick try, tell me a fact about cows. Despite being called hamburgers, hamburger patties are usually made from beef. What a bunch of bolona. Now let's add a training, tell me a cow fact. And highlight cow or click on it in this case. And select it as search term. And then here you can do get content. Then just click save. You're going to also want to add a training for a two word variation. So tell me a foobar fact. So this way Bixby can recognize if it's a two word tag between a and fact, it'll grab that and use it as your search term. And then here, just do get content and click save. And let's also add a two word variation for this training. Tell me a fact about cow. So let's do tell me a fact about foo bar. And here, set it to be the search term. Just like the others, we can do that as get content. And now Bixby will recognize two word inputs after tell me a fact about whatever. We can test this utterance really quick. Tell me a fact about, or tell me cow fact. Despite being called hamburgers, hamburger patties are usually made from beef. What a bunch of bolona. After we've added our training, we should add a progress dialog. In order to make a progress dialog, right click the dialog folder, select new dialog. Here you can just name it something like progress. And we're going to match the content model because that's what gets outputted as your fact. And here you can just uh, type whatever you want to say when it's loading. Also, make sure to change this part right here, the result, into progress. Now it should say milking some cows for a cool fact when it's loading. Mad cow disease is a prion which causes a fatal brain disease in humans. The next step is any fact capsule submitted to the marketplace needs to have at least 10 facts with images or 20 facts without images. The facts themselves live in the code folder and content.js. So one way you can do that, you can do it in the wizard earlier and input all 10 of your facts. In my opinion, it's easier to copy paste this, these fact JSONs and use them accordingly. In terms of the images, you can just drag and drop the images for the facts inside the images folder in the assets folder. So let's go ahead and just make a third fact. Just copy and paste your second fact. In the text area, simply put the fact that you would like. And for the images, just drag it into the images folder. And make sure that your URL matches that image. Images3.gif. 
and make sure to set your tags as well. So you're going to need at least 10 facts with images or 20 facts without. So I'm going to do that real quick. And now my fact capsule has 26 facts. So this will qualify as a valid fact capsule on the marketplace. Finally, let's check the error handling real quick. The main error that occurs in these facts templates is if you have tags and if the user searches for something where the tag doesn't exist in any of the tags in any of your questions, then Bixby will throw back some kind of error message. So tell me a pigeon fact. There are no facts about pigeons in this capsule. I don't know any facts about pigeon. Looks like I've got some homework to do. And there you can see that there is a valid error message. If you'd like to change the error message, you can go to dialog content underscore no result. And you'll see how if there's no result returned, this message gets uh, sent to the user. And this is how you reference the search term using uh, some kind of Bixby markup language. So just to keep it thematic with the rest of the capsule, I'm going to change this message into something that I want. Sorry, maybe I should go to Moon University to get a degree on Pigeon. While I'm doing that, ask me for a fact about cows instead. And next, we want to make it marketplace ready. In order to do that, we need to add a store section. And the store section is in capsule.bxb. So at the end, just type in store section. So most fact capsules go into games and fun, and I do recommend uh, just setting that as your store section. Next thing we need to do is add your own icon. Make sure it is a square PNG file. I have my icon right here, logo.png. Just drag it into the icons folder. And in capsule info, we want to change this to our new logo. And the next thing we want to do is to set a display name and dispatch name. Now display name and dispatch name are usually identical to each other. So right here in the display name, I set it to the book of cows and the dispatch name as well will be the book of cows. Now we also want to set the developer name as well. I'm going to set that to just John without the H, my Twitter handle. And now we need to add a description. So I've updated the description to something fitting for my capsule. Then let's go ahead and set a couple of search terms. Right here we have our search keywords field. In this case, cows. Facts. Seems to be fine. And finally, we can update or remove the website URL. So here, make sure that your URL is relevant to your capsule. In this case, BixbyDevelopers.com would not be relevant to your capsule. It is also optional, so you can just simply delete it. And the next thing we have to do is to make three hints. Right here in the example fact, hints.bxb, uncomment this out. And right here, you need to use the correct format. So for example, with the book of cows, tell me a fact. I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste that. And they need to be different, so tell me a cow fact. And then tell me a fact about cows. So next, run the capsule and make sure it works as intended. When testing your capsule, I highly recommend you to use your voice to actually test it. So click on this little microphone icon in the simulator and say the entire hint into your computer's microphone. With the book of cows, tell me a fact. Cows have no upper front teeth. They use their bottom teeth to grind grass along the top hard palate of their mouths. Make sure you test all of your hints. With the book of cows, tell me a cow fact. Cows urinate about 30 gallons and produce about 60 pounds of manure in a single day. I actually want to change this hint real quick to milk. This way users have a better idea of what they can ask the capsule. With the book of cows, Tell me a fact about milk. Before the invention of milking machines in 1894, it would take one person one hour to milk six cows. All right, so you can see how the hints do work. The entire hint is picked up in the simulator, as with the book of cows, tell me a fact about milk. Here you get a fact about milk. 
So the most important thing to really keep in mind is to make sure that your entire hint works when you speak it to Bixby. If Bixby's ASR has trouble picking up what you're saying, you should tweak it to something that Bixby can understand and that the end user will be able to say to Bixby in order to use your capsule. This is why I chose the Book of Cows because oftentimes cow facts is interpreted as something that's not, you know, cow facts. For example, ask cow facts to tell me a fact. Cows have large. You can see how cow facts was returned as coo facts. So, you know, that's not going to be reliable when the user uh, uses it. So be very conscientious of your dispatch name that you choose, which does go right here. And just a reminder, it's right here in the capsule info. Make sure as you change your dispatch name to also keep your display name to basically match it. So finally, we're going to submit this capsule. In order to submit it, go to bixbydevelopers.com, click on Teams and Capsules. Don't have a team, make a team. You should see a Create Team button right there. And if you don't have a capsule, just click Register Capsule. I'm going to name this the Book of Cows instead of Cowfax because that's my new dispatch name. And click Submit. Now you should see this right here if you click on it. And you can see the capsule ID for the YouTube.BookOfCows. It's going to be your team name plus your capsule name. So go back to your capsule.bxb file and just paste that ID right here into the capsule. If it worked, you'll see that uh, you can run the capsule just fine. A cow has 32 teeth for chomping. And then just click Submissions, this little cloud icon. Click Create New Submission. Select your capsule, make sure that it's a public submission. Just add a note for yourself. And then click Submit Capsule. Once it's done submitting, you'll see that you have some kind of ID right here. And you can go back to your Developer Center. Just click Refresh once you're on your capsule page. And here you can see your submission. Click Submit for Review and add a note. Then just click this thing and click Proceed. Now your capsule has been submitted for review and will be reviewed shortly by the Bixby Capsule Review Team. And that pretty much summarizes how to get a fax template or a jokes template to the marketplace. Of course, this does not guarantee that your capsule does get accepted to the marketplace. However, it should improve your chances. I did create a series on YouTube about how to avoid capsule rejections. And I do recommend watching the one on dispatch names and aliases, because depending on what you set as your dispatch name, it could get your capsule rejected. The link to the dispatch name video will be on this end card, probably in the top right corner, and also in the description below. Definitely check that out for a few minutes of your time. You can pick a good dispatch name for your capsule and not have to go through the rejection process. Thank you very much. I hope this video helped.